Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at factors and multiples. So let's start. Okay, so multiples and factors. This is something we really want to understand well before moving too far into multiplication because these are really essential elements. So let's have a look what they mean. So we have two numbers here we're going to work on. We have 6 and we have 36. Okay, so we're going to look for the multiples and the factors of both of these numbers. So let's do one at a time. Let's have a look at 6 first of all and let's look at our understanding phase. So what does a multiple mean? Well, a multiple means the product of the number that we're looking at, which in this case is 6, times by any integer. And an integer just means a whole number. So there's a logical sequence to this, isn't there? We can do 1 times 6 equals 6. So there's our first multiple. Then we could do 2 times 6 equals 12. So 12 would be a multiple. 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24. So all of these numbers here, our 6, 12, 18, 24, and every other number that would come after this when multiplying by other integers are all multiples of 6. So you're essentially saying what numbers would be in the 6 times table, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, etc, etc. Now you can have negative multiples, but we're not going to look at that in this video. We're going to look at positive numbers in this video, but just so you know, you can go backwards and have negative numbers too. So multiples is just the product of the integer multiplied by your target number, in this case 6. So what are factors? Well, factors are pairs of numbers that equal our target number. So again, in this case, we're looking at 6. Our product wants to be 6, so we need two integers that are going to equal 6. And again, there's a bit of a logical sequence to this because we can always have 1 times the number itself, which in this case is 6. 1 times 6 will be 6. So therefore, we can always have the number itself multiplied by 1. They're always going to be our first factors. So then carrying on the logical sequence, I've just done 1 times 6. Now, I want to try and see if I can do 2 times something. So can I multiply 2 by anything to get 6? Well, yes, I can multiply it by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. And now here's a little trick. Because look, if I try and do 3 times something, well, the only thing I can do is multiply it by 2. And that's still going to equal 6. But I've already used these numbers, these integers, in the previous question. So when we get to a number that we've already used, in this case 3, we know that's as far as we can go with finding our factors. So this one here, we don't need. So now we can look at these numbers, 1, 6, 2, and 3, and register that they are the factors of 6. So 6 has factors 1, 6, 2, and 3. So it has 4 factors, or 2 factor pairs. Good. OK, let's have a look at a difficult one. Let's have a look at 36. So this one immediately is much harder when we're looking at the multiples, because how do I work out the multiples of 36? Well, I can simply just keep adding 36 if I wanted to. So here we go. 1 times 36 equals 36. So multiples are just the times table, the 36 times table. So now I can look at 2 times 36, and that's going to equal 72. But that's about as far as my mental maths wants to go. So now I can just keep adding 36 to my answer. So if I add 36 to 72, I'm going to get 108. So therefore, that would be 3 times 36 and another multiple of 36. Let's do one more. So if we add 36 to this, 86 is 14. 0 add 3, add the 1 is 4, 1 add nothing is 1, so 144. So 4 times 36 is 144. So some multiples of 36 would be 36, 72, 108, and 144. And this could go on indefinitely for as long as there are integers. I could do 10,153,622,112 times 36, that's going to give me an answer, and that is a multiple of 36. So we could go on forever, 
and don't forget negatively as well. Okay, so what are my factors of 36? Well, I'm gonna think about that logical sequence again. I'm gonna start with my one, one times 36, and I've got two factors straight away. Now I'm gonna to check to see if there's a two times anything, and I can see that there's two times 18, and I'm still gonna try and carry on this sequence. So now I'll try and do three times something. Now my mental maths might not be strong enough to get me there, so I can now look at the inverse if I want to do. What's 36 divided by three? Well, 36 divided by three is 12. So therefore three times 12 would give me 36. Okay, let's have a look at the next logical one. I'm gonna check four. Can I make anything with four? Four times something equals 36. 36 divided by four is nine. Wow, okay, I've got another one. Okay. Let's check five. Five times something equals 36, or 36 divided by five. No, I don't think it does. Let's check by going up in our five times table. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, close, but not quite, and 40. So no, five doesn't work, and that's okay. I can just get rid of it. Okay, let's move on though. So let's check six, because remember, just because it didn't work with five doesn't mean that's the end of it, so six, is there anything that I can times six by to get to 36? Well, yeah, I can times six by itself, six. Six times six is 36. Okay, let's check seven. Seven times something equals 36. Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. No, again, can't get there. So we get rid of seven. And let's check eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. No, eight doesn't work either. And therefore, my next number would be nine, but I've already got a nine, so I now know I don't need to do that one, and I've come to the end of checking my factors. So, how many factors does 36 have? Let's check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, because we've already got a six here, so we don't need to include this other six. So if we're talking about how many factors 36 has, it has 10. Okay, so let's quickly think about what the difference is again with, between these two words, the multiples or the factors. Multiples are simply numbers that would come in that times table if we're gonna just keep multiplying it by an integer. Okay, hope this has been useful for you. I've now got a couple of questions for yourself to have a look at. I've got the number 42 and the number 18. I'd like you to give me five multiples for each of them and all of their factors. When you do that, put it in the comment section and I'm gonna try and mark every single one. So press pause now guys, have a go at doing that and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, there we go. I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. And also check out our website, www.themathsguide.com and I'll see you in another video. Peace out.